get her over this look. You've got them three prongs there, you see in there, and then that corner post and that upper green board. I was wondering if it was going to clear that that corner post. The one that I had trouble with last time. But it goes flat to the board. Uh, there's a little gap there. Let me just see. I've got to cinch the whole thing up. No, hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on. Nope, it's fine. It's fine. Right. We got... Well, that's just got a gap anyway, because it ain't all screwed up. I was wondering if I was going to hit them three prongs on the back end and then that corner one. But it seems to work. Well, that's the closed test. All right, let's get it open just to show you what we was looking at. Come on. I'm trying to do this one-handed. It's a nightmare. All right. Let's turn it all around. Turn it all around. All right, there you go. There, uh, what am looking at? Yeah, that, where that screw hole is. That up stand post, that one. And then, let's get a better angle. That's them three prongs. Three prongs, they sit on the board. Then that one sits on the board. And the proximity to, let's put that tray in there. To that, those two round holes, that post sits right next to that, uh, That um, bridged solder joint I made to keep the, that trim pot in place. And it all clears. Clears. All clears there. I did file a half round on the magnet housing though, just because it was touching because I drew that trim pot right close to it, tight up against that metal wire, but I didn't want the two mark wires to touch in the middle. So I drew it up to there, and then I couldn't rotate the screw pot because of that back, back flat end on it. Come on, focus your thing. It, to its full range, so I've got a radial file on there. Just made it so it clears. Let's hope it all goes back together and works and then I've got to calibrate it somehow and then sellotape the battery on to keep the power on again because that's what I did last time. Drew a deep joy.